Hi, I'm James Schilling Law. I'm here at Virtuoso Travel Week, as I always am here in the middle, in really the middle of August here in Las Vegas. And I'm here with a familiar face. We've done interviews here for quite a number of years. Gilberto Sacido, who's Vice President of Tourism for Pro Colombia. Yeah, right. And we, we always get the latest and greatest. And I keep promising I'm going to Colombia, and I'm going to Colombia. I swear it. I swear it's going to happen. And, it, and it's probably happened in January. Uh, so we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk a lot about the numbers. We're going to talk about campaigns and a whole lot of things that are going on with Columbia today on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Gilberto, it's great to see you here, as always. Then we keep saying the next time I see you, it's going to be in Colombia. Yeah, right. Why hasn't that happened? Well, we're still waiting <laughs> that Ama Waterways is going to start the, yeah, the yeah. river cruise. Yeah. So I think that's going to be the occasion to have you there. Yeah? That's going to be. Uh, Ama Waterways is now scheduled to start uh, 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 on the river cruising in January, February of next year. And that's what I've been kind of waiting for. But if I knew it was going to take a little longer, I probably would have come down before then. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, But meantime, how has business been? Uh, what, what, were the, your, were you, what did your numbers in 23 look like? Well. It looks like pretty good. We had uh, more than 6.1 million visitors coming to Colombia. Um, it was a growth close to 30% if you compare with 2022. Okay. In terms of uh, dollars, the income that we generate through the international tourism, we are close to $9 billion for that year. That, that means a growth rate uh, close to 22%. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, well, good news for the tourism, good news for the country. And I think that is the reflect of a new offer and new options, new experiences that you can find in Colombia. What are some of those new offers and experiences you can find? Because we've talked about your, your very innovative campaigns. You, if, last time we talked about that. Uh, but what is new in the Colombia? The of beauty. Huh? It, it is amazing, yeah. So <laughs> talk a little bit about what's new in Colombia. Well, we have a lot of things uh, to do right now in Colombia. As I told you the last time we, we had this interview, uh, we divided the country in six touristic regions. Right. Remember that? So that allow us to uh, design new products depending on the uh, specification of each region. For instance, in the Western Andes where Medellin is located, now we have new experiences related to music. We have the Spotify house in Medellin. We have the J Balvin Museum, just for oh. telling you something about it. Um, and then uh, a lot of wellness uh, lodges in this region also. Oh, so uh, you're getting into the wellness tourism too, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, we are nature. Our destination have a lot of nature and nature is the potential to have this kind of experiences. You can do yoga just in front of the whales in the Pacific. You can do, I don't know, different activities like bird watching is also a kind of therapy. Uh, uh, well, a lot of things uh, to do in, in, in our country right now. Um, plus the river cruise, we expect also to have new investments in Colombia. Uh, to Medellin is coming chains like Marriott in Guatapé that is so close to Medellin, that is this big rock. Uh, we have new lodges there, a uh, boutique, but also from different chains in, in no, you know, it's great. It sounds like you're getting new accommodations. Obviously, we're looking for the river cruise, the, the one ship first and then two ships later. Uh, uh, so we have that. What is your tourism campaign theme now? What are you doing for this year? We're talking about Colombia, the country of beauty. That means that it's not, you know, the correct beauty. We're talking about this beauty that is behind a uh, of a destination that, that is uh, diverse, that is biodiverse, mm -hmm. that is full of things to see. And also our DNA is based on sustainability. So that's which, which the- is really hot here. Uh, the big, uh, yeah. you were probably Absolutely. with that all, we just, I was under this under one sky lunch here at Virtuoso. Amazing, they're really focusing it. And they're proving that sustainability sells, right? This is not philanthropy anymore. No. This is business. So. In Colombia, we're focused on sustainability with a business driver, you know? No, that's great. Now, now um, 
when I go to Colombia next year, and it's looking like January, February, what do you want me to experience? What should I really focus on? Well, I recommend to you to go to the great Colombian Caribbean, when you can go to Cartagena, that is our jewel, uh, touristic jewel in Colombia, but you can connect just one hour and a half by car to Barranquilla. Okay. You're gonna have two national parks in this trip, uh, just in front of Cartagena, you're gonna find Rosario Islands, and in Barranquilla uh, is the Parque Isla de Salamanca, okay. that is another national park. In fact, the river cruise of Ama Waterways is going to cross the Magdalena yeah. River that is just behind the, the, the national park. So then you take your car, you can go to um, Santa Marta, that is a beautiful destination, a sun and beach destination, but also is just close to the biggest mountain in South America, that is uh, La Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. There, you're South going, America? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to find all the climates from Cape Mountains to the beaches in just the same place. And there you're going to find also uh, indigenous communities. There are four different communities that are the protectors, the guardians of this nature that you're going to find there. So this is the things that you're going to find in Colombia. Authentic experiences original experiences. And of course, that's the kind of luxury that we are promoting right now here in Virtuoso. Fantastic. Well, it looks like I, beyond the cruise, I got to spend a little more time yeah. pre and post and explore the rest of Colombia. So that sounds fantastic. Now, uh, anything else you want to tell our 125,000 travel advisors about Colombia today? Well, that I, I invite them to explore the new offer that we have. They can go into Colombia.travel and they're going to see all these new products, all these new experiences that you can live uh, only in Colombia. So that's the invitation and thank you again for having me here. So Colombia.travel, take a look. I uh, got to know what you're doing and go down there. This is a hot destination, it has been for several years, and now it's going to get a lot hotter once uh, you know we get the river cruise in there and once I go there too. So that's <laughs> so uh, it's going to be great to finally get there. I've been holding off for a while, but I promise you, the next time we're we'll be talking we'll about be what we'll be in Colombia and we'll interview there, and then we're going to come back here and do another interview of Virtuoso, and you're going to say. You're going to interview me about Colombia. How about that? Is it a good deal? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, Roberto, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great rest of the show. It's been an amazing show. As always, it's Virtuoso, as we know. And uh, very soon, next year in Colombia. Yeah, sure. Very good. I, I hope to see you there. You will. I promise. I promise. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.